and happy Easter everyone. First, let me start by explaining my outfit with the robes. So, during Easter, there's this tradition in Finland um, <clears throat> when small kids, let's pretend that I am one, um, go around the neighborhood with um, these branches of willows with the catskins, uh, cat catkins, uh, and um, <clears throat> with like decorations uh, of feathers and colored paper and they get, give the, the branches to neighbors uh, in exchange for sweets like easter eggs basically they wish good health, uh, good luck and that sort of thing um, and it's pretty much the same thing as Halloween in the US except that it's in uh, during Easter and there's no pranks involved but everyone dresses up as witches so hence the outfit for today so today I'm filming my March wrap up and Easter TBR um, I will be starting with my March wrap up um, here are all the books I read uh, I read three graphic novels and three books which is pretty good um, I seem to be finally kicking my reading slump's butt, which um, I've been in this slump since the start of this year, basically. I haven't read that much, but these are all the ones that I've read in March, so that's pretty good. The first thing I read in March was Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I gave this three and a half, three point seven 3.7 stars. Um, I liked it okay. Um, it's a retelling of Cinderella with cyborgs, which was interesting, but the sci-fi element made it hard for me to get into it because I don't read that much sci-fi, so... But I will be definitely continuing with the series. Uh, the next thing I finished in March was uh, Miss Marvel, No Normal, graphic novel. Um, again, I gave this uh, three stars. Um, it was interesting. I liked the idea of a Muslim girl as a superhero, but for me, I think the um, storyline was just too superhero story, you know. Um, after all the image comics I've read, the stories have been really unique and this was just too, too normal. Next, I finished um, Rat Queens by Curtis J. V. and Rock Upchurch. Uh, absolutely love this five stars um, this is basically a story about this uh, four four rat queens um, there's magic involved and I think um, the the rat queens are sort of like protecting the town from all these beasts and whatever but then some group starts killing off the uh, rat queens and other similar groups and um, uh, the the whole thing was just like I love the rat queens they were so sassy and butt kicking and I can't wait to get my hands on the second volume I think it should be out sometime in May so I don't have to wait too long so definitely recommend the next thing I finished um, in March was Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes um, I had heard so much good things about this and I was not disappointed. Uh, I gave this four stars and I think it was a really good way for me to get back to, back into fantasy after a while. Um, there's like three kingdoms, two of which are kind of suffering and one is prospering and the other two kingdoms that are struggling kind of make an alliance and attack the third one to get some of the wealth from them. There's um, like rebels and princesses and magic involved and it was really epic read. So I'll be continuing with the series soon. Then I finished Chew Volume 1 by John Lehman and Rob Guillory. Again, love this. Um, I think I gave this four stars out of five. Um, it tells about this detective who's got this weird talent, talent curse, um, where 
whatever he eats, he gets these psychic impressions uh, of like what has happened to the food. And then he also discovers um, that when he nibbles on corpses, he gets impressions of um, who did like who murdered the person and why. And he becomes a detective because of that. And this was probably the most grossest thing I've ever read. Like seriously gross, but awesome at the same time. Uh, as soon as I finished this, I went and bought second and third volume and I will definitely continue the series. <laughs> it was so funny and <laughs> gross at the same time and I uh, just can't wait to continue with the story. Finally, I finished A Darker Shade of Magic by the Schwab. Um, again, great read, 5 out of 5 stars. Um, this tells about um, these, like, there's four parallel Londons or worlds, uh, some with magic, some with nuts, and then there's this traveller who can travel between the Londons. Um, other people normally can't do that, and um, there's a whole lot of magic involved. Um, I loved all the characters and the world building, uh, especially Lila, the wannabe pirate girl thief. Uh, can't wait to read the next volume. Um, and also continue with the other works of V. Schwab. I have Vicious and also the Archive, which is the young adult series. This is adult fantasy, so. Uh, very dark and interesting read. However, we'll be moving on to the Easter TBR. So four days and I'm hoping to finish um, All the Bright Places All the Bright Places by uh, Jennifer Niven uh, I have less than 100 pages to go so it shouldn't be a problem um, This is about these two teenagers um, who meet up on a ledge in school they both intend to jump and Basically, it starts off a um, kind of friendship romance um, and the girl learns to live again from the boy who intends to die. And um, the first 200 pages I wasn't too impressed. It felt like something I've read before. Um, like John Green uh, looking for Alaska, I think I got some sort of vibes um, from that. And uh, but the the ending is quite good. Like after the two hundred pages, I'm enjoying it so far, even though it's really dark and kind of disturbing story. But yeah, hoping to finish this today. Next, I'll be picking up probably um, "Boy Meets Boy" by David Levithan, mainly because this book is I think under two hundred pages, so. And I'm a bit behind on my Goodreads challenge, so <laughs> I'm trying to cheat my way uh, ahead this weekend. And I haven't read this, but and I'm not even sure what the story is about. I just know it's about gay boys and falling in love, I suppose. I don't know. But I haven't read David Levithan's books before, so I'm looking forward to getting into this. Next, because I've read so much young adult lately, I plan to start um, Angel's Blood by Nalini Singh. Um, I think this should be adult paranormal romance. Or just adult paranormal. I don't know. But hopefully I'll be getting into this. This is just over 300 pages quite short uh, and I have three books in this series so I'll be starting this. I'm hoping to start um, or read uh, The Wicked and the Divine, The Forced Act by Gillen McKelvey and Wilson Cowles, um, another graphic novel by Image. Um, what I know about this story is about it's about gods returning to Earth, and they're young and beautiful and smart and fierce. And um, I think they only live for like two years before they die on Earth. 
days. Um, and I've heard good things about this and the artwork looks good. The next thing I plan to read is Chew Volume 2, uh, International Flavor. I already told you what this, uh, the main idea of this book is, so I'm not gonna go into much detail. I don't even know what that second volume involves, but looking forward to continuing this with the series. Then, if I still have time, I think I'm gonna try to finish the Lux series. Uh, I have it on my iPad. I'm not sure whether the cover is gonna come or yeah, no cover. <sighs> this is the cover you can see on iPad. Sorry, but you probably know what the story is about. Girl falls in love with the boy from next door. Turns out he's an alien. That sort of thing. Um, and I only have the last book to go, so I want to read it before I forget everything that's happened in the previous books. And I think those are the books that I'm hoping to read. I'm a bit ambitious because I'm a slow reader so I probably just start uh, Angel's Blood. I uh, probably won't finish it but anyway. Um, so yeah that was the wrap up and my Easter TBR and that's it for now. Happy Easter everyone. See you in my next video. Bye.